Today we're talking about completing the square. But let's settle down for a little bit and focus on Al Khwarizmi. Ooh, that sounds good, doesn't it? He was a uh, mathematician, uh, roughly around 780 to 850 Common Era. And uh, he was employed at the, as a scholar at the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. Pretty, pretty tough stuff. Um, anyways, Al-Khwarizmi, he wrote a famous book, uh, you might have heard of it, called Al-Jabr. And uh, Al-Jabr, we actually kind of changed over to al Jabra. And another cool thing was uh, Al-Khwarizmi was also kind of known as Algorithm. And uh, so that's where we get Algorithm as well in math. He, uh, his no most notable uh, feature, though, was that um, he also... Uh, figured out the Arabic numerals. So uh, using 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that was Al Khwarizmi. So pretty pretty cool dude. Um, in his book of Al Jabr, he uh, actually talked about completing the square. And so we're going to look at this example uh, that he kind of faced. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So Al Khwarizmi kind of thought about solving a quadratic equation completely different than what we would think of solving a quadratic equation today. Um, he was given a, an equation, x squared plus 10x minus 39 equals 0, and uh, he was trying to solve this. So what he did, uh, since he is the algebra kind of guy, um, he actually uh, added 39 to both sides, boom, and then he... Uh, thought of something a little different. He actually said, all right, well, x squared, that's the same thing as having a square with x as my length and my width. Um, and then he went and he said, okay, well, I've got another square here that has a length uh, of 10 and a width of x um, because that would give me 10x. Um, and so he was trying to figure out how these two boxes or these two squares could actually make another square. So what he did was he took the, the box that was 10x and he cut it in half. So now he's got um, two rectangles that are 5x each and he placed these on the edges of the uh, x squared box. Well this left one tiny little square left. Well he figured out that basically what this is, is it is actually half of b, and if you square it. So uh, we originally started off with 10, so we cut that in half, which gave us 5, and if you square it, that's that box. So that's why we call it completing the square. All you do is you take b, cut it in half, and then square it. You add it to both sides so it stays equal, and then uh, you got yourself a perfect square. Man, this guy's a genius. Al's, Al's a pretty good guy. Well, good luck with the other problems. We'll talk later.